Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the Lickin' Room, where we're gonna learn like a prayer. This time, I'm playing Journey Instruments classical guitar. It's a collapsible classical guitar. Collapsible, travelable, okay? Fits into an overhead bag, okay? A fantastic bag in and of itself. Um, their guitars are actually worth the price just for the bag, in my opinion. Um, and let's begin. Now, remember, you can download the tab uh, also for free in the description. The tabs here on Lick and Riff are always free. The link is below in the description. Download it, follow along, and enjoy. Now, you start with D minor, and it's just the chord. It's the bass, and then 1, 1, 1 on the first string. <laughs> Then you have C, open E string, bar on the third fret, okay, this is G minor, just the bar, okay, there's no need to put the whole chord on, strings one, two, three, and six, and then D minor again, then this again, okay, just one on the first string, and then C, G minor, and then D minor here. Okay, it's five, six, seven with the D string, but we're not playing the five yet. We're just playing strings two, three, and four. Because then we're playing the first string. And then we're playing C with three on the first string. And then G minor with six. And then F. Now to make it interesting, it's a spacious chord. It's five, five on strings one and three with three on the fourth. Okay, instead of playing the whole chord, I'm just playing this to leave space between these two notes because we already have F. Okay, no reason to play the octave. And then six, six on the second string with six on the bass. And then F again, C again with three, and then you have D minor, strings one and two. Then you have the chorus. It's F. Okay, it's all inside the chord. It's one, 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 one on the first string. You can just play the chord. And then C with the open E string. And then three. Flat. And then, okay, just ones on the first string and then A minor. And then, three, three, one, and then you have G minor, but this time with five. C with three on the first string. Now, I just leave the bar on and I play strings one and five. I see no reason to move my whole hand if it's just for a moment. Okay, and then F. Then you play everything again. Then you have okay, three, 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 and then A minor with one on the first string. So I'm calling this A minor because it's the melody of the lyrics. Technically, okay, just purely in a technical manner, it's actually D minor 7 over A. Okay, but the chord in the song is A minor. She just sings something different. So I'm treating it as A minor with one on the first string. And then all the rest is the same. Except for that final chord. Okay, you have five, and then C with three, and then you have B flat, because you're actually starting the verse. This song is a magnificent composition, magnificent, it's a fantastic song. And then, the second string twice, we're in B flat, remember. Three, three on the second, one on the first, and then F. A, F, again, one on the first string, it's in the chord. And then you have C, the bass, 
three, three, one on the first string, and then this D minor arpeggiated. Okay, it strings one, two, three, two. Then you have B flat. And F, again, just like the beginning, okay? Exactly the same. And then. So it's five, three, one, three into a C chord. Um, three, five, one, three. Okay, you can just play it as a solo. No need for harmony here. It's just a dramatic moment. And then you repeat everything except for that last solo. So B flat, F, C, D minor, B flat, F, and then three, five, six, five on the first frame. And then you have the chorus again. Okay? The whole thing. Now, when you finish the chorus, okay, you move into the bridge, so... I stay on B-flat, and then D-minor, okay? You stay on B-flat, just to keep the chord, and prepare for another part, and then you start with D-minor. Okay, it's the second string a few times, as many times as you want. Okay, you can just do it once, twice, four times, 17 times. Okay, it's your interpretation, just enjoy it. Okay, um, that was an exaggerated example and it worked. Okay, I just threw my hand. And then C. Okay, it's the bass, and then zero, 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 one, three on the first. And then again. Okay, D minor and C. And then you have D minor. Okay, it's five, five, and then six, six on the second string. Again, it's your interpretation, any way you want. Okay, that's what's written in the tab. And then you have a bar on eight for C, E-shaped. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, it's B flat major seven. It's five, basically, on the first string. Okay, you can just do this. Okay, five and six on strings one and six. If you want the whole chord, it's... D minor over B flat. Think about it like that. It's five, six, seven with B flat on the bass. My thumb is on six. Okay, you can do this. Or. Okay, the chord isn't really missing here. Okay, it's just for a moment. Then you have eight on the second string and then you have F. And then you have B flat. Okay, just one on the first string, three times. Then you have C. Okay, it's three, 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 five, three, and then one with D minor. And then it's five, five on the first string. You can harmonize with the rest of the chord. And then you have this. Okay, it's 10, 10, 8, 8 with 8 on the bass. Okay, so you can just bar it. You can pull it off. And then you have 6 on the bass. Okay, and then you have 10s on the first string. And then it's 8 on both strings, 1 and 6. So once again, D minor. C, B flat, and then C again. And then you just go back to the chorus. So that's your arrangement of Like a Prayer. Thank you, Journey, for another magnificent guitar. Um, Journey Instruments, 
Love licking refers and we love Journey Instruments right back. So uh, download the tab. The link is below in the description as usual. And also a free finger style workshop, seven days to extraordinary finger style. So come on in, join the workshop and we're gonna have a ton of fun with your finger style skills skyrocketing through the roof and other cliches okay so it's a great workshop come on in join thousands of finger style players who have already enjoyed it now um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now